<laughs> and um, after having been mostly in Bordeaux, and, and mostly in the Médoc, we never went to Saint-Emilion too far. <laughs> For all, we don't know where that is. Still, we came next door, South Africa. And there we do all the kind of wines because of the lovely terroir, the lovely climate. So it's really for us to be here. And I decided to come in 2003, but I've been here since 1988, knowing that the terroir, well, terroir was great, that there was a big historical story with the Huguenots, they are the ones who brought the vines here. That was in 1688 when we first planted the vines. So we have a lovely terroir, and you're going to say, and now we'll, you're starting by visiting the, the glass museum. So you're going to say, why have we got a glass museum in Glen Ellyn? And this, and this answer is very simple, because there is a lot in common between creating wine and creating glass. Both come from very poor soil. And that is the link for me. It's to start where nothing grows. Poor soil, like in Bordeaux, you have gravel, very poor. The sand, nothing much grows either. That's why we presented the sand to really show that the link between the glass and the, and, and the sand. And when you see that, you think, what can we do with sand? Then you can make all of that. And when you look each piece one by one, you see the variety, like what we do in, in winemaking, a variety, very wide variety of wines, all kinds. 